Hi. So if you have come here, I'm assuming that you're probably looking for a cloud certification or to a free one. And uh, to do to do that, Oracle is the best place for you. Why? Because Oracle has two kind of certifications. One is foundation ones, and the second one is the professional ones. Foundation ones are free throughout the year. So whenever you take. Uh, it's free you just have to see for which year you are doing that is for example if you are doing in 2025 you should do the foundations of 2025 not 24 because it's a, it's a, it is an upgraded version and then there are professional ones professional ones are paid ones but if you are doing those within this duration as in uh, in between 1st July uh, to 31st of October of 2025 they are also free for you and uh, not all I'll show you which ones are free for you but the professional ones are free which on a on ge in general will cost you around 20,000 rupees and it's a, it's a very good deal that you are getting those for free so I've separated the video uh, first I'll show you the uh, free ones and then I'll show you the paid ones and uh, you can just skip to the marker uh, point in that is in like sliding this thing what do you call this thing I don't recall uh, slide timer or uh, whatever it is uh, I'll just go please scroll this and uh, I'll so if you come to this uh, Oracle University URL, the first thing that you're going to see is this, the pop-up, that the race to certification site. Right? Let's open this and I'll show you how does it look. Also, note, I am not currently logged in, so this is the general page which you are seeing. Once you come to this page, uh, you will be able to see that which certifications are they, they are talking about. So, one is Oracle AI Foundations, Generative AI Professional, AI Vector Search and Data Science. As I said, there are two types of certifications. One is the foundation one, second ones are the professional ones. So these professional ones are the ones that are going to cost you something. Foundation one is free, so you can do this throughout the year anytime and this will be free for you. Now, how do you give the exam for free? The first thing that you need to do is complete the learning module of that particular exam. So the digital course is the learning module. So once you complete the learning module, you will get the certification. Uh, basically the voucher it's not a voucher you just complete it and it will the option for giving the exam will be enabled to you i'll show you that also and then if you complete two you'll get two and if you complete more than uh, two that is the four all four you will get an additional voucher which you can claim uh, before 20 october 31st 2026 so you'll get a voucher that is going to be valid for the next year as well um there are some digital promotional kits so nothing physical you'll not get a t-shirt or something okay and uh, there's a leadership board personally i'll suggest you to not go behind the certification just for the certification or the digital badge or just to stay in top 500 um certifi see, certifications are a good medium to show that you have the credibility to do a particular thing but certifications are not going to give you the job if you if you know the stuff then certifications are going to be very helpful otherwise uh, they are they are nothing okay it's just mcq based questions if you don't know anything about oracle cloud and somehow just pass the exam uh, you are not going to stand anywhere in the interview right even if you somehow got the interview so focus on learning don't focus on the certification alone certification alone. okay uh, i'll click on start learning now it will ask me to log in i don't know since how long has it been since i logged in last time so redirect how do i zoom it zoom redirect <laughs> it's redirect di directing okay so it directly opened this page and again it's uh, it's uh, my last session was logged in again cool. it's fine um but if you don't see this is my this is my home page these are some things which i started never finished okay i have i have completed certifications i'll show you uh, but these are some things which i started and never finished uh, but since I, I already had an account, it didn't show anything to me, but if it shows something like this to you, um, uh, you just have to click activate and it will bring you back to this page. So no need to worry, just click activate and you'll be navigated here, right? Now, um, how do how do you go to certification, right? So for example, if you want to do AI foundations, click on this and you will be navigated to the page where all the learning material is also there and the uh, option to give the exam is also there. Please forgive my internet, it's a bit slow, uh, but it will get the job done. It will, it will show you what, what it needs to show, okay? Um, so as you can see, this is the course. I had completed this. Uh, these things are not mandatory to give the exam, but if you do this, again, it is going to increase your knowledge itself. I just, I already know this stuff. I had completed this uh, 
previously also so i just went ahead and gave the exam and i have the badge if i click on this okay if i click on view badge i can see my badge as well and how do you how do you get a shareable one once you complete it you'll get your in your email i'll just show you uh, how does it how shareable it is so you i just come to my profile and i go to the certification section quickly 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 survey certification okay yeah and i'll just scroll and i'll show you for ekal jani for example this is the generic profe jani professional one so this professional one is paid but i did it last year within the uh, offer duration so i got this credential if i click this i get my shareable link that is valid till 2026 so in 2026 i'll probably get there will be another offer there will be another try so i'll again give the exam but basically this is how you get a share li shareable uh, link for that one also so uh, so i have completed two the foundation one and the professional one i have completed maybe this time i'll create i'll complete the uh, vector search and data science as well um and then uh, yeah i'll be 4x 4x uh, cloud certified okay uh, let's go to the generative ai one i'll show you this is 25 one so this is not probably completed by me but some percentage of it will be completed because it upgrades it doesn't just disregard the previous one it upgrades the courses on all so yeah so basically i previously it was 100% but since they have upgraded the course uh, now there is now 51% of it which i have not completed yet so what i need to do is come come here and then uh, not click here click on this <laughs> and then it will load the course for me uh, okay let me move this this side and then you can see that it has all these modules these all learning modules uh, step by step you need to complete these modules uh, given the in between quizzes and complete this stuff I'll just play the uh, some video and you will just get an overview of these things. And personally, because with speaker my voice is not audible, I'll say the course is very well detailed. It's it's it complete it covers a whole lot of generative AI things. And do not directly jump to generative AI professionals or AI vector search or the uh, this data science. Right? Don't jump to any of these first. I highly recommend to go through the foundations one first because it will it is going to tell you some things which are very foundational uh, to to all this and once you complete this some part of these will already be completed for you so these will go very fast if you complete this first and anyway this is free but you have a time limit of uh, 20 to 31st of october which is 60 days and if i count if 60 days if i count it from september but if i count from today you have like 60 to 63 days which is more than enough you should be able to do it okay uh, complete the foundation one first and then generative ai and then vector ai uh, and then data science right go into this, this section and if you don't want to complete this one first and then this and then this and then this so if you can go to ai foundations first vector search second generative ai third and then data science at the last okay don't jump anything go sequence wise please um if you want to do cloud ones as well those are as also present here if you, you can see right associate professional 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 these all are paid except of the, for this one you can complete the course and give any time but to move ahead with any of these you have to have the foundation knowledge then there you have the multi cloud ones again uh this is also foundation one that that's free and if you want to go for professional this is highly recommended to do the foundations and then similarly we have for data as well a data platform data foundations is also there uh, okay this one is correct foundation associate is there so this one is free throughout but these all are will be paid and if you do this outside this uh, session uh, like this 31st of october duration you'll have to pay something again i am repeating this again and again that this duration is very important you, if you give after the, this duration uh you will have to you will not be getting this for free you will have to wait for another year and probably they'll release another uh, uh another free trial for you okay so how to open the course right let me just play this for for uh, next one minute or something and then you can probably understand for yourself that how how cool or this is i don't know i don't think i should get a copyright strike for this or anything but yeah let's go Welcome to the On the Cloud Infrastructure 2025 Generative AI Professional Certification. Okay, I'm so me. glad that you are here. Generative AI is truly a transformational technology, and this is the right time for you to upskill and reskill your workforce in order to 
if this feels very slow you have the option to make it fast right so i generally watch videos at 2x i don't know it's a habit of mine but uh, to make it sound normal i think you if you see at 1.5 it will be pretty genuine benefit from this technology in the next few slides let me walk you through the course intended audience prerequisites objectives and the course structure this course is intended for cloud developers cloud architects machine learning and ai engineers or for anyone who is beginning with generative ai there are three prerequisites for this course you need a basic familiarity with deep learning and machine learning concepts you need a very basic knowledge of python and you need a very basic familiarity with oracle cloud infrastructure some of the basic constructs like identity access management and virtual cloud networks there are four course objectives so we want you to learn a so as i said these are the prerequisites that's why i said that you should do the foundations one first and then you will have some knowledge which is required for completing this course as well if you already already know the basics of ml the basics of deep learning you know how vectorization embedding and all things one you can probably go with it but i still recommend to get the foundations one first and then uh, come with this and once you complete this you will also be learning how to implement drag and how to build the chat on uh, oci using the services that oci provides you so that will be a very good addition to your skill set that's why i said don't just focus on completing the certification getting the marks or it's 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 going to be mcq based but focus on uh, learning things one key thing i would like to mention so just because it's free don't think it's not going to be profited okay although the foundation ones are not going to be that high level profited to be very honest but if you are giving the professional ones right you will be sub like registering via psn view and then you'll have to give the exam and then you'll have to follow all that process uh to register also let me see if it allows me to show or navigate to that page because again i'm not complete uh, my completion percentage is low at the current current stage um let's see let's see let's see ba 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 so if somebody has is not aware what is psn view so psn view is some is a it's 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 a company that helps all these companies conduct these exams or the cloud exams so psn view has physical centers and it lets you take exams online as well uh, and the exams are going to be proctored and they are very strict okay they if if somebody has given aws or as your exams previously you know right they'll ask you to take up your phone and they'll ask you to you know show all four sides of your room nothing should be on table nobody should be in the room or your phone also should not be very near you so uh, they are very strict so don't think of cheating into this this okay and and at this stage you don't should not even be thinking about cheating right you should be thinking about how you will complete uh, all these things let me see if it is going to let me register if it is yes. okay review some this is register online and your computer wagera wagera this is required and i'll suggest if you are going to give this from home i'll highly 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 recommend to get a stable internet connection because if something happens in during during the exam uh, your voucher will not be refunded so you have you know, just keep that in mind okay i i didn't show you but there was a click to sign in my account option i click that let me just show you again okay review topics and all and all sign into my account now, once you click sign into your account you sh should navigate you to the page from where you can register for your exam let's see if it is going to allow you allow us and even if it does allow me i'll still suggest you to complete the learning material first because although i'll say the exam is fairly easy um uh, but it's easy only when you know the concepts if you have completed these things okay now it's asking me to schedule exam this is going to be proctored multi uh, multi choice 90 minutes number of questions 50 and the passing percentage is 68 so bar is so the bar is pretty low 68% should be um, reasonable to you if you are if you if you have studied right now let me click schedule exam I hope this doesn't let waste my voucher or anything. Okay. Oh, this is directly adding me to my exam. So, okay, you can just go ahead, select any time. You can select any date. 
any date within the 24 hour frame so you cannot give book the a uh, slot been in within the 24 hours so like not in the ne- next 11 hours you have to give a gap of for 24 hours right so let's just go to 30 and then save and continue and your exam will be put i'll not book it otherwise i'll be stuck so you can see i uh, 1 a.m 1 30 this 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 you save and continue uh, and you take schedule exam it will schedule your exam and uh, yeah, that is it so i hope this was not too much confusing so i just go as an overview your home page is Oracle, I'll give the link to you in bio. You should generally see this pop-up, uh, uh, the race to certifications. If you don't, I'll give you this link as well in the uh, description. Once you come here, you choose the track which you want to do. So you can go for AI, Oracle, Multicloud or data. The foundation ones for all these are free throughout the year. You should you should be giving the latest one always. So and that is if you are in 25, give for the year 25. If you go for professional or if you go for associate, they are paid. Generally, the cost is around 20,000 rupees. But if you are giving them before 31st of October, then it is going to be free. Okay. The condition for it to be free is you have to complete this learning material. So this whole learning material is something that you need to complete. Okay. Um, let me open this again and show you any any of this. Let's let's open the vector search. Okay. So any of this learning material you need to complete. Once you complete the learning material, uh, you will be able to register for the exam. There is a practice se- practice exam as well. There is a practice lab as, as well. So if you want to increase your knowledge, if you want to increase your uh, worthiness, I'll say uh, credibility. Yes, that's the correct word. Credibility. If you want to increase your credibility, I suggest to, for you to go to the lab as well. As you can see, you get uh, to take the exam for free till 31st of October. This is the learning path. So you come here. Uh, sorry. This is the learning path and this is the course. So you come click here and it will open the course. You complete the courses and uh, these are the preparation things. I suggest go through these. It's not, it's not going to take much of your time and it's just going to make you strong. Uh, make you strong in terms of uh, being able to give the exam and then you can click register and once you click register you will be navigated to schedule exam you can then come on this page book the time slot make sure to book after 24 hours uh, and then uh, make sure you have a very good internet connection and your system or whichever whatever thing you're using has a webcam and the exam is going to be proctored so don't think about cheating and don't think about wasting your voucher focus on learning Okay. Uh, let me close this as well and once you complete your exam you'll get a shareable link like this which you can share on your uh, socials your linkedin uh, your whatsapp your twitter wherever you want to do you can share this i completed this last year and this is going to expire in 26 that is two years and maybe next year uh, i'll renew this and i hope uh, you learned something from this video if you like this video uh, i will suggest to stick around how do i increase the size ah, I agree. so if you like this video i suggest you stick around because uh, i keep sharing these kind of stuff and uh, consider subscribing staying and uh, share with your friends who might want to do oracle certifications but they are confused um, from where to do how to do and uh, about the pricing as well so I wish you all the best and uh, if you complete some certifications and you watched do, did it after we, uh, viewing this video uh, please tag me on linkedin uh, i'll show you my linkedin profile my linkedin is uh, is uh, you should be you should be able to find me on linkedin how do i make this small okay this is very bad size thank you how do what is my linkedin my linkedin is this so boom so this is my link stuff. if you complete the certification uh, please feel free to tag me and uh, i had shared a reels previously uh, about uh, the certifications but that is an older one uh, some people ask me what do i do after doing those certifications so i work in the field of ai ml uh, and i work mostly to the to the towards the security part so if somebody wants to chat with me on that also please feel free to dm and i'll be happy to help Okay, that's it for this video. I'll wrap it up and uh, I hope that you like this video. Please share, like, subscribe and I'll see you soon.